With a body revolution, you have access to all of the different cross-section types in VSP. So you can make this a revolved component of whatever you like. So if let's say we go to the cross-section and rather than a four series airfoil where we're using the cord to adjust the length and the thickness to cord ratio, what if we want to do say a rounded rectangle? Well, now we have the width adjusting our total length. We can adjust the radius and we can adjust our height. Okay. So if we don't want to do that, we can use other airfoil types. We can do a wedge. We can do edit curve. So the way to think about this is that right now we have it in a flow through design mode and we're getting the entire cross section here. If you would rather turn it into something that's a rotated component that's similar to say you had a turning blank and then you milled out the outside and you wanted to follow that path, you can use an airfoil file, you can use a fuse file, you can use edit curve. There's a variety of ways to accomplish that particular shape. But as we've seen with the design mode presentations, you want to go to either an upper or lower design policy. And then you can do, say, a cross section type. And just for example, let's do edit curve and start with this circular section. So if we start moving this around and adjusting some of these, you'll see that by adjusting the section type, you can adjust the shape of this thing. Okay. Now, the thing that's really interesting is because we're treating this as if we turned it on a blank, you can come up with some really interesting shapes. So in this case, I took an edit curve cross section and I simply added some points in and messed with the feature lines a little bit, but I turned it into something that's kind of similar to a candlestick. So anything that you would be able to put on a lathe or a mill and shape. So it's very, very similar to a revolve component in CAD. So the point here is that even though the body of revolution seems like a relatively simple component to control, there's actually a lot of depth and a lot of things that you can do with this by using your cross-section effectively and using all of your different parameters.